हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू लर्न एंड एन्जॉय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम हेमा जैन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द नाइन्थ लेसन ऑफ फिफ्थ हिस्ट्री दैट इज सेटल लाइफ एंड अर्बन सिविलाइजेशन इन दिस लेसन विल सी द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ दैट लेसन एंड आफ्टर दैट द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स देन लेट स्टार्ट द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ऑफ सेटल लाइफ एंड अर्बन सिविलाइजेशन द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज यूज ऑफ मेटल्स Christian Thomson studied the prehistoric artifacts and antique objects and introduced the 3H system for classifying these objects and the objects were classified in the 3H systems are stone tools copper tools and articles iron tools and articles gold was the first metal used it was a soft metal and could not be used to make tools and implements humans discovered copper to make tools and thereby the copper age began The second point is use of wheels. The invention of wheel was the most significant invention during the Copper Age. Wheel was the first used by potters to make symmetrical, colorful pots with beautiful designs in large quantities. A rotating plank was turned with one hand and pot was shaped with the other hand by the woman in ancient Egypt. The same practice is followed today by the tribal women in India. a pointed quartz pebble fixed at the bottom of the wheel is known as pivot it balances the wheel when it revolves at a high speed point number 3 trade and transport potters and other skilled craftsmen lived in the industrial area of the village settlement so as to manage their affairs easily village settlements where the raw materials was easily available and which were conveniently situated for trade expanded rapidly there was expansion of trade with increase in production this required change in the transport system wheel cart and chariots were used for this purpose which two vehicles were used for the trade and transport wheel cart and chariots okay now see the next point point number 4 rise of cities and scripts long distance trade rapid transport of goods and centers of large scale production brought together people engaged in different types of work this led to the emergence of cities record keeping became necessary for keeping records of the expanding trade and growing production the system of symbols and signs was modified and improved this led to the emergence of script now the last point fifth point social organization in the ancient egypt the roots of the culture in cities were in the culture of village settlements of the new stone age the earlier faith system social life and the festivals became more elaborate in cities grand temples were built in many cities chiefs of these temples became chief administrators of these cities later the position of temple head and the king were held by the same individual Okay we have seen the important points of this lesson now see the question answers given in the textbook the first question is write the consequences of the following events you can see the question on your screen among them first one is discovery of copper what is the consequences of copper copper was used for making tools and implements by humans this is the answer See the second question discovery of wheel wheel was first used by the potters and later for running bullock carts and chariots and the third question is use of script script is used for permanent record keeping production and other events these three questions are of consequences now the second question is arrange the following in chronological order the first question is copper gold iron which metal first used by man gold after that copper and then iron so the answer is gold then copper then iron okay see the second question copper age iron age stone age and we have to write it in chronological order so by chronological order first one is stone age second one is copper age and third one is iron age correct now 
you have the chart in front of you and you have to write the answers question are given below there stone tools stone tools in stone age the answer is stone copper tools and other copper objects in copper age and iron tools and other iron objects in iron age correct now we have to write the short notes the first short note is use of metals see the answer in front of you gold was the first metal used by man however gold is a soft metal it cannot be used for making tools and implements so copper and iron were used for making tools and implements this is the short notes on uses of metals the second short note is social organization in the ancient cities the culture of the cities had its roots in the culture of village settlements of the new stone age the faith system rooted in the agricultural way of life continued in the urban way of life the social life and festivals having roots in the agricultural faith system became more elaborate in the cities grand temples were built in many cities the chiefs of the temples became the chief administrators of those cities later the same individual held the position of the king and the temple head okay we have seen the question and answers of the lesson number 9 now we, the lesson number 10 will see tomorrow okay do study at home best of luck for your study and thank you very much